So, so in the movie, when when the when the fisherman speaks about uh, not being able to fish, uh, it doesn't. It's not said explicitly, but it, it refers to the other measures that were indeed taken by the. Law. So there, there's been a, a, a fisheries ban in all of the northern uh, north of, uh, of California for a couple of years. Uh, there is a there is a vaquita exclusion zone that is uh, just for terms of reference where you can don't do any sort of activity that is, except to go out and try to help the vaquita. So it's closed, completely closed, and the size is about the size of Hong Kong. So it's a pretty big area. And then there is a complete gilded ban on all of the northern part of the of the Gulf of California has been permanent. And uh, a lot of fishermen of these villages are have been actually being paid not to fish. So that, that's public money that's been put into finding alternative sources of income and trying to find uh, you know, eco tourists from other side. So there are just two things that I think should be updated about what was uh, said. One is that um, uh, illegal fishing and trafficking in wildlife species is no longer considered as a local crime in Mexico. In that it, the, we amended our, our, um, our penal code and we amended our uh, organized crime law to uh, both uh, increase penalties and to make it explicit an explicit type of uh, organized crime. So uh, uh, similar to when uh, half of that has already been done in Hong Kong when the, the amendment to the Protected Species Act had just passed. The other thing that we did has not been done in Hong Kong, which is to make explicit in the organized crime law that uh, trafficking in wildlife is a type of organized crime. So uh, that's just a quick update of uh, what was done. The Hong Kong authorities have been uh, very open and helpful and engaged. Uh, we, we have, a, in the context of CITES, we have a, an ongoing dialogue with the United States and with uh, the mainland China authorities. Uh, this is, as you saw, near the border in the US, so a lot of the trafficking has actually been done through the United States, so it's the three countries that are uh, involved in the, this discussion. And the Hong Kong uh, government was really helpful in getting that dialogue started. So I think from the beginning, they've been really open to pushing this issue. Uh, I've been able to discuss this issue with any official that I've tried to have a conversation with about. So I mean, it's, the, the spirit of openness is there and the willingness to, to, to act uh, according to Hong Kong laws and to support us in the application of Mexican laws. I mean, I'm absolutely, absolutely there. The challenge is that um, uh, we didn't have the laws, as you saw in the video, now we do. And Hong Kong didn't have the laws either, and now they do. The new, the, I think the amendment to uh, the uh, uh, Protection of Endangered Species Act that was approved, I think it was a very positive step. Uh, 